All right, so yesterday we finished um, spray foaming with open cell, four inches on the wall and six inches on the ceiling. So we got actually all of it done. As you can see, in one day. So we got, that's 18 foot side wasp, 29 foot peak. And we got it all spray foam. We were expecting to do this for three days. Ended up doing it in less than 12 hours. So today we are going to hit um, and paint it. So we are going to be painting all of this and the trusses um, black today. So we'll see how far we get and finish that up.
So, to say the least, the painting is going <laughs> a lot slower than anticipated. This is like two to three hours of work and we only put it to one and a half full trusses done. So this is moving a lot slower than the spray foam. And it sucks. If you ever want to go into painting, don't. But we are two and a half hours in and only go <laughs> two and a, one and a half dresses done. Oh.
so we're almost done painting today as you can see we didn't get very far at all so this is what we have left and then this is what we have done so we have out about a fourth maybe 25 percent of it so our scissor lift died so we're just trying to finish up the paint that we have and then when I get to more so this is eight five gallon buckets of paint only did this much so this spray foam which is open cell we wanted to do closed cell but they couldn't get it um, I guess it's manufacturer problem can't get the materials so we end up in order to get it insulated this weekend we had to go with open cell which is a lot thicker it's literally like I mean I can show you it's it's like painting cotton balls it is the hardest stuff like it's I mean it's mushy it's just mushy so I mean you have to go five different directions just to paint every single bubble that is in this spray foam. So it just took way more paint than we had anticipated since we did plan for a close cell. So now we're just trying to accomplish as much tonight with the paint that we have left and then um, go out and get some more, unfortunately. So this was, you know, over a thousand dollars worth of paint and we got it didn't even cover a quarter of the entire barn. So we still got all this ceiling, this wall, and we're just doing the ceiling over in the loft because those walls are going to be covered by other walls to enclose it into our living quarters. So we still got to do underneath the loft. So there's still so much more to do. And we probably need another 10 more buckets. So that's another $1,200. So it is what it is, but we'll get it done.
right, so we have technically somewhat finished our painting. Um, the reason I say that is because I have done probably a gazillion coats and gone back and forth and trying to get every single angle um, because trying to paint spray foam that is open cell, which is very thick. So it has in some spots, four inches, five inches, six inches. The roof's supposed to be six inches. The walls are four inches, but of course in other spots, it's just expanded to different thicknesses and different um, kind of bubbles and textures. So it's very difficult to get all those angles painted. So it took me forever. And we have gone through, I believe, probably 22 five gallon buckets of flat black paint. And I say that because look behind me, no paint up in the loft. So that we're not painting these back walls because we're putting interior walls in anyway. This is the stairs. So we did, well, I did paint that, uh, but I do need to paint the roof but I have gone to every single store known to man around here to find more black paint. And of course, there's a shortage or they can't get it. Back order, yada, yada, yada. It's the story of my life right now and trying to build. And if we didn't have to build, we wouldn't build. But we have to and we need to and we need to finish it. But unfortunately, with this economy, inflation and greed and all that, everything is just outrageously priced and you can't get a lot of stuff. So, hopefully we'll get in some black paint and I can finish that. But we're just trying to get in so we move in. As you can see, no door. No door. No door. No door. And, of course, no doors. So, our doors have been sitting at this place since June. But, for some reason they didn't seem to order all the parts for it to install it so we are sitting here waiting for springs and sprockets so we can actually put doors up so that's why i have all these tarps don't worry about my tarp job there's one man show and that's what i could get um banging around you can see the wind um and that's what you hear so hopefully we'll get doors before christmas um, if not, well, this is what we got. Um, and these are eight by 10, but that my friends are 12 by 14 doors. And there's no way I could put this big old tarp over there and it would just be banging around if we had a wind gust like we've been having. Um, and then we couldn't come in and out. So we'd be kind of screwed to, to pull in in here with the car. So we're trying to get our trailer and everything down here this weekend and I'll get this all cleaned up. So we at least have some type of roof over our head and hopefully in the next week or so we can get these doors in that we get the parts that they need to install them. So at this point, we are going to kind of clean up the mess here, try and get our stuff moved down in here and then slowly but surely finish the loft up there um, and get some of this stuff worked in down here as you know our bathroom um, our second bathroom is going to be right there so it's going to be shower uh, toilet sink and there laundry room um, and then hot water here and everything down there so we do need to build walls in that area and get that enclosed as well but just looking at plywood for the cheapest thinnest crap is $24.67 I believe that used to be eight bucks so right now to even build a wall and cover it with plywood um i'm not really a big fan of doing drywall when you're on the ground floor here where it has an opportunity to get wet um it just doesn't hold up like plywood would plywood could kind of dry out and not be as bad but once once drywall is wet it's it's ruined so we got that hindrance as well so all in all most of the painting is done but again I ran out of paint um, on my 22nd five-gallon barrel. Um, as you can see, there's 
paint buckets everywhere of how many we have used to paint this. Um, if we had originally gone with our closed cell, that of course it can't get for months, they couldn't even give me a time, and we wanted to be in here out of the elements of our trailer um, for this winter. So, anyway, we're kind of stuck with that. Um, but as you can tell, not sure how long these tarps are going to last with the wind. But, you know, it is all the somewhat elements here. So I'll get this cleaned up and get it somewhat ready for us to move down in here. And we're going to get lights up this weekend. So we can have some lights up in here. Um, and take it day by day, step by step. But it is a process and it's not an easy one. So it's just little things we got to accomplish and take those successes as we get them.